All right, so I think I'm back to the drawing board as far as the paint goes. I've this paint that I paint on this piece of metal. If you watched my last video, I painted both sides, blue and brown, and um, it has been drying for over a week. And I did a real light coats on this, just one coat of primer and one and a half coats, two coats of the spray paint, and it stayed tacky for. A good three days um, it's finally not tacky anymore um, but as you can see it's really gotten full of a lot of crud um, from being tacky and just sitting in my garage this side was up and just all the dirt and stuff coming in my garage all stuck to it um, it had a little bit when I took my last video and I was outside while it was still obviously quite tacky but I put it inside put it up on a shelf and just from sitting inside all this is stuck to it as you can see it's not coming off um, so that's going to be a problem. The other thing is, as you can see, it's really easy to um, to scratch. And, you know, again, I'm not looking for show quality, but this is really too easy to, to scratch. As you can see, especially the blue. The blue, you know, this is my fingernail. I'm not even doing it real hard. Um, and I'm not scraping it up, but it's real mark. It's marking up real bad. So um, what I think I'm going to do is, again, I like this this color a lot, this blue. I like the brown, but I like the blue a lot more. What I may do is um, do an automotive paint with a hardener in it, like a one-stage paint. So it has a hardener in it um, of this color. So I may take this in and say, hey, I want uh, to paint, I want paint th uh, this color. Um, sorry for the poor lighting. I just, I'm in my garage. It's nighttime. I don't have very good light in my garage, but um, yeah, I just... I'm not going to paint the whole thing just to have it scratch up and the first time I'm even near a bush, um, you know, because I'm going to take it off-roading and I want it to last better than this. So I'm quite disappointed just in the, you know, in, in the quality that, that I think this paint is. So out with the spray paint and in with the automotive paint. Now around my Jeep, what I'm going to do so I'm probably going to build, I've been thinking, as you can see, get a lot of dust, get a lot of dirt in the air here. I'm in Arizona, it's desert, if it gets windy at all, it gets disgusting. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to build a paint booth out of like PVC pipe. It'll be, it'll be real inexpensive uh, to build. And then I can tear it down and it won't take up any room and I'll just have some PVC pipe lying around, which I'll probably need anyways because I need to redo my irrigation system for my yard. So, you know, I'll probably be able to use it for the paint booth and then reuse it and I won't have wasted any, any money on that. Um, so I'll probably build a paint booth out of PVC and some plastic sheets um, to, to keep it clean and then... I have access to a compressor, buy a, a gun, and buy the paint. And I'll probably paint it all one color, and then just roll on some bed liner on the lower section that I was talking about um, before. So uh, a lot of people told me don't do spray paint, and yeah, I was hoping to do spray paint because I figured it's something that I could do um, a little bit easier than I could do the this uh, you know with an air gun. But I think in the long run, um, if you want to spend the money, do it right the first time. And so I know a lot of people do use spray paint on their vehicles. But usually they're spraying a flat black or they're doing some sort of bed liner or something. And uh, I'm not doing that this time. So uh, anyways, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to use my partner link if you purchase anything on Amazon. A little bit of your purchase does come back and support my channel and the videos I make. Thank you for watching.